Hello everyone, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about test sets and runs in practice test. So as in previous software testing life cycle session, we have understood that in any software testing life cycle, you start with the requirements. So business analysts start requirement gathering from business and other stakeholders then as part of the test team you start analyzing those requirements and see the feasibility how you are going to test those that's when you start writing the test cases so after you are done with the analysis of the requirement then you start writing the test cases and put start putting those into the test library that we have learned in the previous session um, the next step after you are done with your test library is to actually organize those test cases as part of your test run and then do the execution on the version of the software delivered by the developers. So to in order to start with the test sets and test run, you need to go to the tab next to the test library, test sets and test runs and will open the test set page to add a new test it's pretty similar to the test library as in you added the test cases so just click on new test set and it will open the test set window you just provide the test set name so i'll say sample test set assign to the tester who is going to execute it when that is planned to be executed so for example on 12th Feb which if you want to structure any folder select the folder against which version of the software you are going to execute those test cases you have to select the version so for example the latest version that is going to be deployed is 1.6 so select 1.6 and then the test cases that are added as added in sample test set in this particular set test set will be executed on that particular version of the software in the test environment you can put the tags comma separated you can put the test levels so of if it is a functional testing for a particular feature then you can select the functional test level you can select the testing phase so for example if it is a system testing phase or if it is a system integration testing you can select the testing phase and just click on save changes okay so now that sample test set has been created with the with the default with the data that you have selected or with the information that you have selected in the testing phase in version in the test level etc here in the right hand side you will see whom that test set is assigned to what the run status was so currently it hasn't been run so it will say last run is never run and then planned execution will show you when it was created and when it is going to be executed so what's the planned execution date for this sample test set okay the next thing you do is after creating the test set is basically adding the test cases to that test set so you you created the test set but there has to be certain number of test cases in that test set to in order to someone to execute those tests so to add a test just click on the add test button and then it will open a window like this and will show you all the tests if you select all tests here it will select it will show you the all test test cases that you have pre created in the project or you can choose the filter available here so for example you want to choose only assigned to you it will show you only the test cases that are assigned to you all right or you can choose by the test level so for example i want to choose only regression test cases as part of this test set i'll choose regression filter if you want to select all the test cases just click on this checkbox the top checkbox against the id name and it will select all the test cases and add selected test cases 
so once you click on add selected test cases you will see all the selected test cases here are part of that test set and added in that test set for the run all right so once the test cases are added to the test set the next step is to plan the execution of the test sets all right so you have created a test set you have planned when these test cases will be executed now once that particular date is there you have the build deployed in your test environment uh, the tester whom these this test set is assigned will go ahead and start executing those test cases so once that particular date is there so if you go to that test set a test a tester will come in so it is currently assigned to Anna Smith she'll come in and click on run now so once she clicks on run now it will start it will open the test execution window and will show you the first test case name at the top and the steps that are that you require to be executed as part of that test case right so if you want if you have executed step one step two and everything was fine you click on pass all test and it will pass the test case right if you want to go step by step so for example open your browser and go to a particular site the site is opened on in the top right you see the login fields right so you can if there is some discrepancy you don't see the login field so you can say um, you put your comments here not able to launch so for example uh, I should be able to open the login page but I'm not able to open the login page there are some errors so I'll say not able to open login page and I'll fail the test case All right so that step will be marked as failed and actual result will be captured in the text box here and if I'm not not able to open the login page there is no point to go ahead and further verify the login credentials so I'll just say this is kind of block and mark the test case So by default, if you fail a step, the test case will be far, uh, marked as fail. So then you go to the next test. And similarly, the tester will go ahead and keep executing all those test cases. So once the test execution is done, if you go back, you see, you can see what the current status of that particular test set is so currently two of the test cases have passed one is failed and six of the test cases haven't been run right so that's about test set and run how you create a test set how you add the test cases to the to the test set and then when the test execution date is there whenever the, the tester ex starts executing the test case how he captures the pass fail for a particular step and adds other details the other important thing to notice here is uh, you have filters available here so you can manage filter you can customize filter accordingly in the test set as well also you can manage the folders in the test set so for example you are following the waterfall methodology so you can create a folder structure as per feature under the root folder and then organize your test sets as per the feature so for example first feature if i say is um, launch application then if you're creating a particular test set which has just launch application test cases you can assign that particular test set to the launch application folder um, second thing is you can create the permutations for example you can select particular test sets 
and then create permutations of those test of those uh, test sets. For example, I can select whom the test set was assigned, and then if I want to sell, if I want to execute that same test set on two different versions of the software, I want to do system testing of the test cases that were assigned to Anna Smith on two different versions of the software. So I can go to next step, select, so these permutations will be generated. So system testing will be done for both versions of the software. And then I'll say test permutation. Just put some name here and then finish. So you'll see sample test set will be created for 1.5 and 1.6 both and oh, there will be you know like test inst instances there. The next feature is cloning the test set so you can either clone using this small icon here or select the test set and click on clone test set. So it will clone the same test set Again, if you see, come back uh, and click on all test sets, you will see the cloned test sets as well. Um, the second feature, the next feature is batch edit, which is similar to the test library. So if you want to batch edit a test set, click on it, uh, click on either select all or uncheck and select the, the ones that you want to edit. So for example, you want to edit four of these, click on batch edit, select the checkbox, and if you want to assign it to someone else, assign it and update. All right. So all the top four test sets have been assigned to a different tester in the team. All right. Deletion is also you can either delete one by one or you can select bulk deletion. So if you want to select you know, like say if you want to delete four test sets together, select four, click on delete and type in delete and click on I understand continue to delete and then it will say deleting test sets. And it will email you once those test sets are successfully deleted. All right. The next feature is same thing as we saw in the test library, print. So you can click on a particular test set, click on print, and it will print all the details about that test set. So for example, what execution happened, some, some issue is there at the moment. So I think that's the problem. But um, ideally, it will create a similar PDF report with all the test details, all the execution details, and what happened to a particular step in the execution cycle, whether it passed, failed, and if there are any, atta any attachments attached to a particular test set. So it looks like something went wrong here. Um, I'll try to open the next test set so for example here if, I, if you want to continue running this particular test click on run and this test case passed what all you want to do for that particular um, step you can either add attachments you can fail and create a issue against this step or you can link an existing issue so for example in a browser when you open the landing page it's not coming then you can if there is an existing defect that you have opened you can link that issue here or you can create a new issue and that will be tagged under the issue under the issues module of the practice test Next thing you can do is you can either edit this step. So for example, you were doing the execution and you notice that some of the steps are not written correctly or there are you know, like some mismatch. You can directly edit that particular step here 
rather than going back to the test library and updating. So once you edit it here, it will be reflected back everywhere in the library and everywhere else, wherever the reference of that test case is. You can also the, add a particular step above this step or below this step. So that's another very good feature of practice test, which will allow you to update the test case while you are executing that because most of the time when you document your test cases you don't have the actual software in front of you and you write based on the requirement and there might be some uh, differences in the actual software and the business requirement and once you discuss those differences with the business analyst and business and if they are fine that whatever functionality is provided as part of the software is fine then you go ahead and update your test steps accordingly to cater for the uh, the new enhancement of feature that you can say has been provided as part of the software so that editing of the step above and below in order to clarify the flow of the test case is very easily possible in practice test so you can do that particular action in each step of the um, test execution next thing is so for example you have as soon as you start the execution practice test starts logging the time that you are taking to execute the, that particular test so if you don't want to log the time or you are going you know like you are not actually doing the execution at that particular point of time you want to pause the execution you click on pause and it will pause that timer once you are back on this execution you can resume and it will start the timer so it will actually capture the time it took to you execute that particular test by a tester right? So that's, that's pretty much all about the test sets and test runs in practice test. In further sessions, we will learn about issue management in practice test. Thank you.